Hi, I'm JB, and this is Jake, and welcome to the MagLube Minute. Now, a lot of people ask us, what is MQL? Minimum quantity lubrication is a method of lubricating a cutting tool with minute amount of high-grade lubricant mixed with air to reduce friction that causes heat during various machining processes. How exactly does MQL work? Well, MagLub MQL used correctly will actually deliver a small amount of high-grade lubricant directly to the cutting edge of a tool. This will drastically reduce the friction between that tool and workpiece, and what that does, it will eliminate the, uh, the heat that occurs during that cutting process. With reduced heat, you are then uh, prolonging the life of that cutting tool. So how would you say MQL differs from traditional methods of lubrication, like say a flood coolant? Right, most machine shops try to carry the heat away by lubricating their cutting tools and workpiece with flood coolants. This method is very messy and comes with many added costs including cleanup and disposal of used oils. While flood coolants may seem to work, it really only eliminates the symptoms of the problem rather than the cause, which is the friction that we mentioned earlier. Most of these flood coolants are also hazardous, so they are unsafe to the operators and the environment while all of the MagLube oils are safe, non-toxic, and biodegradable. What are some of the benefits of using MQL over flood coolants? Well, other than it being a cheaper method, your, uh, your chips are going to be dry because of how little of the oil is used. Um, that oil is actually burn up in the cut. Um, there's little to no cleanup at all. You might have a little bit of residue left over on your parts. Um, there's zero disposal, so um, a few other things. You're going to have better surface finishes on your parts and the, uh, the tool life is gonna go up dramatically. What would you say some of our most successful applications are? Well, I'd say milling machines, blades, bandsaws, CNC routers, various CNC machines, stamping presses, and many other applications. So I see this Haas tool room mill has been outfitted with a MagLube system. Tell me a little bit about how it's been retrofitted. Sure. CNC milling is one of our more common applications. And for those, we usually make what we consider a halo nozzle. And what you're going to have, you're going to have one port going in, and then equal lubrication on multiple points out. We custom make these depending on the size of the spindle and how many out ports that you need. Now if you see on here, we've got two pumps that are feeding these lines. One for the coolant positioner, and then the second one feeding this same halo nozzle. And as you see, we got three points of lubrication coming out that's going to give equal coverage to all sides of this end mill. So regardless of the direction that you're cutting, you're not gonna have a blind spot to where you're not getting proper lubrication on the cut. And you might be wondering where this lubricant's being fed from. Well, if you wanna walk around back, I'll show you. This is the MagLube Precision Delivery System with a gravity-fed reservoir and injector pumps inside. Like the system we just showed you on the CNC, I'm going to go over some of the settings in one of our MQL systems. MagLube's MQL systems are engineered to withstand a harsh industrial environment and are equipped with a steel NEMA box and a lock. So once we get the settings right, we can keep it locked and it will work flawlessly. So inside of our system, they all come with three standard adjustments. These three adjustments can be tailored to suit almost every application. Our positive displacement pumps have click settings to increase and decrease the amount of lubricant delivered per stroke. The frequency generator will adjust how often that pump will stroke per cycle. Your airflow control will increase or decrease the amount of air coming out of the nozzle to deliver the lubricant and evacuate chips from the cutting path. Our line is coaxial so that you can Bring your oil line two to three inches away from your nozzle, which will allow for proper atomization and spray patterns. All of our systems require a designated air line coming into the air filter, and it requires 85 to 120 PSI. Our systems can also be signaled with an electric solenoid coming from your machine to tell it when to be on and when it will be off. This will keep you from using lubricant when you don't need it. Today I wanted to talk about our success in bandsaw applications. We make a couple of different bandsaw nozzles that'll tailor to any size blade. If you notice, we got two points of lubrication. And why is that important? 
Well, the blade usually travels towards heat, and if you're equally lubricating both sides of the blade, you're going to have a straighter cut. Now, if you want to walk with me, I'll show you one in action. Here's one of our bandsaw nozzles installed on a smaller bandsaw. We use a smaller one here because it required a smaller footprint. It's still the same concept. You're going to have two lines coming in, equally lubricating both sides of the blade. This is also going to keep the blade room temperature. It will never get hotter. All the heat dissipates in the chips. Another good feature about having this nozzle installed is it's going to blow the chips off the blade before it goes into the cut. And it's generally going to keep your guide wheels and flywheels cleaner. So here we go. We're going to do a cut. Room temperature, dry chips. Maglube.